Synchronous or parallel counters are known to be the fastest devices of the kind. Provided that the required conditions are met, gain in their capacity does not result in an increased total dwell. We can thus say that it is the synchronous counters that operate as ideal counters, where all the discharges are actuated simultaneously or in parallel. At the same time, the drawback of synchronous counters is that they are more difficult to control if compared to the asynchronous counters and series carrying synchronous counters. A time diagram describing the operation of a synchronous counter is different from the time diagram for a series carry synchronous counter in the formation of the carry signal used in cascading counters. The carry signal CR in this case is generated when all the counter outputs are set to 1 when counting forward or to 0 when counting back. In this situation the clock input does not participate in generation of the carry signal. The standard microchip series includes several types of synchronous or parallel counters. Depending on the counting method, there exist binary or binary decade counters, bidirectional and unidirectional counters. They also may or may not have a reset signal. All the counters count based on the positive edge of the clock and all have a carry output CR and expansion inputs for cascading. Besides, all counters support parallel recording of data. The potential applications of synchronous or parallel counters are quite extensive. Suffice it to say that they can easily replace both the asynchronous or serial counters and the serious carry synchronous counters. And if required is the high speed, they are hugely advantageous if compared to all the other kinds of these devices. The output pattern of synchronous counters is set simultaneously at any number of discharges without the need to apply additional output registers that are an absolute must in the case of asynchronous counters and serious carry synchronous ones.